The first step to Windows Admin Center is to get Windows Admin Center. We need to download it and install it. Now, the cool thing about Windows Admin Center, first of all, is that it works with not just Windows Server 2022, but it actually is a little bit backwards compatible. It works with Windows Server 2016, 2019, 2022, uh, which is pretty nice. But the second thing is that it is free. It is free to download directly from Microsoft's website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get and how to install Windows Admin Center into your environment. Let's get going. So Windows Admin Center, in my opinion, is one of those things that's better experienced than explained. Uh, it is something that I don't want to say it sits on the edge of your network. That's not necessarily true, but it is a gateway for Azure to come into your network and explore your server inventory and manage your server inventory. This is a fantastic way to actually enable automation in your entire environment because Azure has phenomenal resources and platforms and tools that you can use in conjunction with your your on-premises environment now and that's that's really a magical thing i can't stress that enough when you start to explore azure automation and the power of automation and now giving it a way to reach on-premises through windows admin center is just something that you're really going to experience it firsthand when you explore the Azure Network Adapter. It's something very simple, but when you actually see what Windows Admin Center has enabled you to do, you'll realize just how powerful it is. Now, in my environment, uh, if this is your first time watching my content in this playlist, I have a server called DC Nug. It is uh, a domain controller, pretty straightforward. I also have a couple file share servers. We have FS Nug and FS2 Nug. And then I have this server right here that I'm sitting on called IPAM Nug. Now, IPAM is something that you typically use in a networking scenario. It's going to be a central point for your, your environment to manage DNS, DHCP, network policies, and things like that. But right now, this server isn't really doing much of anything. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna deploy Windows Admin Center on this server in my environment. So my environment will look like this. This is gonna be the HQ and Windows Admin Center is what's gonna have its leg in Azure out to the real world. So by default, Windows Admin Center, I wanna stress this too, Windows Admin Center doesn't need to be hooked into Azure, nor does it need to do that to have any sort of benefit or any sort of use case. Windows Admin Center by itself can still do extraordinary things just for your on-premises servers, and you will see those in an upcoming video. But one of the things that needs to happen in order to actually deploy truly hybrid solutions is we need to hook it into Azure. So step one uh, is to get Windows Admin Center. Now, like I said, it is a free download from Microsoft. All you really have to do is bring up your Edge browser and search for Windows Admin Center. It will take you to this page right here where it kind of tells you, you know, this is what Windows Admin Center looks like. This is what it does. You can get great performance monitoring from on-premises or the cloud environment. Uh, you can manage your Hyper-V infrastructure is really phenomenal actually for, for managing uh, hyper-converged infrastructure and Hyper-V. So if you're dealing with storage spaces direct or just a Hyper-V, a traditional Hyper-V deployment with something like a SAN, uh, it, it's phenomenal for working with that. So scroll if you scroll all the way to the bottom, just get all the way down here, you'll see Get Started with Windows Admin Center and you give that button a click for Download Now. And it takes you to this page right here that looks like the, the typical Microsoft evaluation download page. It will automatically jump you down to the Windows Admin Center. Notice there is no evaluation. It's unlimited usage. Get started for free. Click this download button and it will make you fill out a form. So you got to click download. Uh, oh, wait, I already downloaded it. So that's what it's doing. Before you can click the download button, there's going to be a, a form that you have to fill out. It's going to be like your first name, last name. Uh, company's name, email, phone number, uh, agree to the terms, and then you can click download. Nonetheless, this is a truly free download. And even if you don't have Windows Server 2022, if you've got 2016 or 2019, this is still something that you can use in your environment today. And like I said, I remember downloading the beta in 2018, and this is before it was even hooked into Azure. 
and had all of these hybrid solutions. And I was thinking, oh, this is better. So, uh, it, you know, if you've got enough compute and resources just to spin up a little server for Windows Admin Center and run on it, it's probably worth just exploring. So with this being downloaded here, it's not a very big download. It's only like 70 megabytes. I can go to my folder here, and this is where I've downloaded it twice. Uh, I'm going to run the installer, so let's give it a double click. This is a traditional MSI installer, uh, and it's going to go through the Windows Admin Center installation. This is going to feel like every other uh, installation that you've ever done before. We'll accept the terms and click Next. Uh, now, this is the interesting thing. We can choose. It's got to, It needs diagnostic data. This is kind of an interesting thing if you have... Um, some sort of like security regulations or something like that. It is going to uh, collect some diagnostic data in order to help troubleshoot some problems as well as keep Windows Admin Center up to date. Beyond that, uh, you can also allow it to collect additional optional diagnostic data if you want to select that. Uh, but nonetheless, this is kind of what it's telling you that they're going to be doing is they're going to collect some data. Now, uh, do you want to have Windows Update used whenever it's time to uh, keep Windows Admin Center up to date. I'm going to select this to yes. I, I do want to keep Microsoft Update uh, up to date. So let's click yes there. And this is what it's telling you. This is going to install Windows Admin Center, which is a gateway server to enable access for multiple admins, connect, uh, uh, you're going to be able to connect to uh, any PC with a supported browser, you're going to manage computers in the private network, and you're going to be able to manage them from Azure, which is a pretty cool thing. Let's click next. And this is going to give you some additional options for installing Windows Admin Center. Here we have the ability to uh, modify the machine's trusted host settings. So there is going to be a trust component. You can use Windows Remote Management over HTTPS only, meaning that SSL or TLS is going to be the only channel that can be used for this communication if that's what you want to do to make sure this is encrypted. And then we're going to automatically update Windows Admin Center. So I'm going to leave these to the default settings and click Next. Now, this is going to install a web server. You are going to be accessing this from a web server, from a web GUI. Uh, if you install this on a server, you could access this remotely from your client PC, which is a very handy thing to do. Now, uh, we can also specify if we need to provide an SSL certificate for this particular server, uh, or if it's going to be generating a self-signed certificate, which will have an expiration of 60 days. So keep that in mind. Also, you can force it to redirect HTTP traffic, the unencrypted traffic from port 80 to HTTPS, if you have, again, a security guideline to do that. So I'll click install at this point, and it is going to be deploying the Windows Admin Center, which again comes with a lightweight web server installed on it and everything like that. So we're going to let this install for a little bit and come back to it when the installation wizard has been completed. So installation only takes about 60 seconds to get this thing up and running. Now check this out. It automatically tells you the URL that you want to use in order to access this particular PC. Uh, and of course, it's, you know, DNS resolvable, which is kind of a nice thing. Let's give it a click. And it tells me, oh, guess what? You need to log in with your domain credentials. So I'm going to get logged in with my domain credentials. I hope I type my password right. And there we go. We are logged in to Windows Admin Center. So uh, at this point, it, it gives you a little a brief what's new in this release. There's some virtual machine, blah, blah, virtual machine tooling improvements, which is pretty nice. Uh, and you can create things like VHDs when adding a new disk to your VM, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I'm going to click close right here instead of clicking on read what's new. And we have now installed Windows Admin Center. There's a lot more to do in the upcoming videos. I just wanted you to see how to get this thing up and running. There's honestly not a lot to it, which is kind of nice. So... With that being said, Windows Admin Center is now installed and up and running. In the next few videos, we're going to go ahead and get the environment ready to rock and roll for Windows Admin Center, making sure that we can manage all the servers and client PCs that we care about, hooking it into Azure, and then exploring what the GUI has to offer. So this has been Installing It. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.